Hi, I'm Jonathan Mitchell with the award-winning Richmond Ford, and there's a new era of automotive engineering upon us, and Ford is leading the way with this, the new Maverick. Now, these things are such a hot commodity that it's taken me a while to actually get my hands on one because the new owners are so excited to take this thing home that they've literally been waiting for them to roll off the trucks on our lots. But nonetheless, this one's here now, so let's see why this thing is hotter than Tickle Me Elmo in 1996, this holiday season. Let's get started. The Maverick is in a unique segment with only one other comparable foe from Hyundai of all. However, what makes the Maverick desirable over many segments is its unique approach to today's automotive consumer needs. The Maverick is obviously a truck, but not in the traditional sense. This is not a body on frame construction, but rather a unibody construction, as you can see the lack of separation between the bed and the cab. The Maverick's bed is short, but it is smart. It makes use of the small space by offering a wide enough track to fit a sheet of plywood, and the tailgate can not only extend the space, but also offer support as you can adjust its resting height. There is also integrated tie down points or bottle openers, whichever you prefer, on either side of the tailgate. The bed rails offer multiple adjustable tie down points and notches offer the ability to create your own storage divider system or customize it with different accessories. Do you want to add powered accessories? Well, Ford has you covered with a 12 volt power port that you can easily tap into without splicing into pre-existing wires. There's also an available 400 watt power port for tools or gear and extra storage here on the sides. And what may seem like a weird design choice is actually a functional feature, and that is the bed size extending up the cab to protect the rear window from having taller cargo bump up against it. When it comes to weight, this bed is still plenty capable with a maximum payload capacity of 1500 pounds. This is the truck bed of the future, but fortunately, we have it here now. The Maverick is also capable of towing up to 4000 pounds with the towing package, for when the bed just won't suffice. This adds a transmission cooler, changes the rear differential, and adds an integrated brake controller. Now this towing capacity is not available on all of the Mavericks. To get the maximum performance, you have to opt for the optional 2.0 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder engine. This comes with an eight-speed automatic transmission and is good for 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. You can get this engine in either front or all-wheel drive. This combination is good for up to 22 city and 29 highway miles per gallon. However, the alternative, which is big news because this is the standard engine in the Maverick and it's a hybrid. The 2.5 hybrid engine puts out a respectable 191 horsepower with both gasoline and battery power combined and 155 pound feet of torque. And this is paired up with an eCVT power split transmission. This hybrid powertrain will allow for up to 40 miles per gallon EPA estimated city rating, 37 combined, and up to 500 miles on a single tank. In a truck, back to towing, max towing capacity of just 2,000 pounds is achieved with a front wheel drive non-towing package model. The Maverick comes in three distinct trim levels. You have the XL, XLT, and Lariat. Each gives you a bit more options and creature comforts. This trim is the XLT300A, so we can't show you all of the available features, but the differences in the trims will be obvious right from the designs in the grille, the wheels, and the painted surfaces, like the mirror caps and the handles on the Laria. You also get intelligent access on the doors to keep your key in your pocket, and all trims come with LED headlights, daytime running lights, and an 8-inch center stack touchscreen. Now, we usually don't mention pricing in our videos due to the market fluctuation incentives, and depending on the time you watch this video, those can vary. However, it is worth mentioning that the Maverick starts at $20,000. You can get a fully loaded Lariat for about $36,000 MSRP. When comparing to a full-size truck you may not need, in theory, you could get two base model Mavericks for the price of an entry-level F-150. That's a lot to consider when weighing your options. The Maverick is sure to be an eye catcher when it first starts rolling on the streets because there is nothing that looks like it. The bold and masculine lines of the truck give off that build for tough vibe 
even though it has a small footprint. Think of it as a bull terrier, short in stature but poised and ready for anything you can put it up to. The ride height is tall enough to clear off-road obstacles, but it is short enough that you can make sure that Grandma can easily get in and out. Around the rear, the word Maverick is stamped into the tailgate just like its bigger siblings in the Ford truck lineup. One design cue that is a little different is the license plate position, but it's offset like that to allow for the trailer hitch. The Maverick is based on the Escape and the Bronco Sport platform. With influence of the former, the Maverick is capable when it comes to off-roading. While not as capable as a body-on-frame truck, with the FX4 package equipped you get two additional drive modes with mud, rut, sand, and all-terrain tires, hill descent control, skid plates, and exposed front tow hooks. You also get a smaller 17-inch black painted aluminum wheel that allows for more tire sidewall, and don't forget that FX4 off-road box side decal. As we move to the interior, this is where more of the Maverick's innovation shines through. As soon as you open the door, you notice the unique door panels. These door panels allow you to store tall water bottles and massive iPads, laptops, you name it. The cutout in the pull handle is purposely designed so you have easy access to pull those bottles out on the go. The exposed hardware adds a rugged styling touch. And the materials used also hint at the rugged style and will be easy to clean and care for. The seats are comfortable, and depending on the trim level, you can get them in a durable cloth or active X vinyl. The color combinations are unlike most you'll see in any other vehicle. The colored accents in the center console highlight commonly used areas, so you notice them easier while focusing your attention on the road. Here in the rear, you also get additional storage under the seat as it lifts up and exposes two cavernous cubbies to fit all of the essentials on the go. Also, while I have this up, you'll notice some notches. These are part of Ford's new FITS system. Ford will have accessories to fit in these notches like hooks, a cord organizer, and you'll notice another here on the back of the center console. You can put a cup holder here or anything that you would like because the idea is you can 3D print your own accessories for these spots. Taking a look here at the rear seat room, I'm 5'10 and I have plenty of room to sit behind myself for leg room and headroom is a non-issue as there is a cutout offering more space up here. But the real test is, is this good as a family vehicle? I have my car seats with me, so let's throw them in here and see how they fit. So here we are with my rear facing car seat here in my Super Cab F-150 and as you can see, this seat is pretty much straight up and down making for a very awkward and uncomfortable seating position where your knees are pretty much right there in the dash. How does the Maverick compare to a full-size pickup? Let's find out. So just finishing up getting these strapped in, I'm going to note one thing, that you're going to want to remove the back headrest for the front-facing seats because that takes away a little bit of the room here at the top. Now the real story is, is that this seat right here does not look anywhere near as straight up and down as it did in my truck, which probably means it's gonna be a lot more comfortable. Let's come around this side and take a peek. So back here, there's plenty of space to get the kid in and out. And up here is where the real test is. And yeah, I'm not sitting anywhere near as straight up and down in the seat. And it actually looks like I have about two to three inches more knee room here between me and the dash. I would say this passes the test that the Maverick is a good family vehicle option. When it comes to tech, the Maverick is plenty well equipped. We already mentioned the 8-inch infotainment screen. This system allows you to pair your phone with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Unfortunately, the phone does have to be plugged in and it is not wireless yet. You will have to rely on your phone's navigation though as nav is not an option with this system nor are voice commands, these two will have to be through your phone. But you can get a 6.5 inch productivity screen on the instrument cluster. This will display your towing, off-road, and truck information, and you get dual zone climate controls, a 12 volt power port, two USBs up front, two more in the rear, along with a 400 watt outlet. There's also a wireless charging pad in the center console on the Lariat luxury package. For safety, Ford's Copilot 360 is an optional add-on that includes Bliss with cross-traffic alert, 
the lane keeping system, but standard you'll get auto high beam headlights, pre-collision assist, and a rear view camera. So there we have it, the new Maverick, a forward thinking, youthfully designed new pickup truck experience that'll be at home in the driveways of both customers young and old. Now this thing is for anybody who lives in a populated area that needs a small footprint with the utility of a bed and the ability to throw in their friends and family and take this thing on a long journey and still get great gas mileage while doing it. Now here at Richmond Ford, we can actually customize your Maverick before it leaves our lot. We can throw on a turnout cover and make that bed a trunk. We can throw on some wheels and tires, a lift kit, anything that your heart desires to make this truck your own. And when you buy from us, you're gonna get our exclusive 100,000 mile warranty and our five-star customer service. And we have customer service reps standing by at the link in the description, ready to help you place your order. And as always, we're driven by you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.